Gannon, Managing Editor of Fluid Power World, and I'm here today with Douglas Cecina from Milwaukee Cylinder. We're at the Fluid Power Technology Conference where they're showing some new technology. Doug, can you tell us a little bit about what you've you got here? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Uh, what I've got here is a new offering we have. It's an option that we have for our cylinders. What we've done is we put a temperature switch on our cylinder, and this temperature switch, it's, in, it's embedded in the end cap, and what the sensor of the, end, of the temperature switch is actually inside the fluid flow of the cylinder, so it provides a very true indication of the temperature inside the cylinder. Now why this is important is if a cylinder overheats, the cylinder's life uh, will be reduced, and so if you could put a sensor, and again, this is a temperature switch, when the temperature goes up to the temperature uh, switch setting, what's going to happen is it's going to signal that your cylinder you know, is in this condition where it's, it's overheating. And then you could, do something, uh, you could do something about it. So this is uh, one of the newest uh, features. It helps make your cylinder a little bit more smarter mm -hmm. and helps provide you an opportunity right. to make your cylinder last a lot longer. Yeah. Something good with some good predictive maintenance too to kind of keep an eye on, on your machines, I'm assuming, as well. Oh, absolutely. That's you know, something that's helpful for it. So Wonderful. So, Doug, uh, thanks so much about that. What, what do we have here? What's going on with this product? Well, this is our end-of-stroke uh, locking mechanism. Mm -hmm. And so what we can do is we could put a mechanism on either side of the cylinder for whether it's in, in uh, extend or retract. Okay. And what it'll do is when the cylinder moves to the extend position, mm -hmm. it'll lock you know, the cylinder so that you could actually remove your hydraulics and okay. your cylinder will stay in the extended position. Okay. And when you reapply the hydraulics, it unlocks the mechanism and then you could, you could retract it. And again, you could put that mechanism on, on either or both sides. So okay. you could lock it while it's in extend or, or you could lock it while it's retract. Okay. So it's a, yeah, it's a, a very interesting product. Mm -hmm. You know, again, you know, especially if you want to remove hydraulics or if you lose hydraulics okay. and you want to make sure that the rod, you know, mm -hmm. stays, you know, in the extended or retracted position, that's what that device will do for us. So is this kind of a safety device as well as sort of just kind of keeping control of the machine or why would you be using that? You know, certainly safety, mm -hmm. you know, is, you know, one you know, aspect, okay. you know, of it. You know, I've seen it used, for example, you know, in locking a door, you know, okay. open okay. Uh, or, you know, an application, you know, like that. Great. So. Wonderful. Thank you so much. All right, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks for all the information here today. Where can uh, people come to find information about these two new products for you? You could go to MilwaukeeCylinder.com and the information will be available there, uh, certainly, or you could call us and our you know, customer service team will be able to help you out. Great, thank you so much, Douglas. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching.